Reset, how to restart your life and get FU money by David Sawyer. What matters to you in life? What makes you happy? The journey to reset begins with the process of learning to understand yourself. Happiness doesn't just happen, you have to work hard at it. If you are unhappy, there is probably something you can do to improve that situation and consistently taking the right actions will lead to increased happiness. The secret is knowing which actions you need to take. Don't confuse happiness with pleasure. Quick fixes and short-term instant gratification will rarely lead to long-lasting happiness. Bronnie Ware, an Australian palliative care nurse who counselled patients in the final weeks of their lives, wrote a book called The Top 5 Regrets of Dying. She asked patients if there were any regrets they had or anything they would do differently. The top five regrets were as follows. Number one, I wish I'd had the courage to live a life true to myself, not the life others expected of me. Number two, I wish I hadn't worked so hard. Number three, I wish I'd had the courage to express my feelings. Number four, I wish I had stayed in touch with my friends. And number five, I wish that I'd let myself be happier. Don't be that person. Never be left thinking, if only. Discover your purpose, be true to yourself and make a plan with a clear vision of where you want to get to and why it's important to you. Then show up and do the work by consistently taking the right actions over time to pursue a life that aligns with your values. Declutter your life. The average person touches their phone 2,617 times per day. We know it's not a good habit but can't seem to help it. The modern day social media era has led to a dramatic increase in general unhappiness, anxiety and depression. Smart devices are incredibly addictive and eat away at our only finite resource, our time. The internet and the rise in smart devices has resulted in an uncontrollable smartphone addiction due to the endless dopamine loops that social media provides. This is the instant gratification version of happiness that was mentioned earlier and this rarely leads to long-term fulfilment and lasting happiness. Impose constraints and get it under control. Disable notifications, unsubscribe from unimportant newsletters and be mindful and intentional with your smart device usage. Next, move on to decluttering your house and your lifestyle. Simplifying your life allows you to think clearer and make fewer and better choices in life. Living frugally and avoiding the trappings of consumerism also saves money, is more environmentally friendly and frees up time to allow you to focus on the important things in life. Now you have a clear vision of the life you want and have removed all the distractions, you need to get your FU money. Getting financial independence, accumulating wealth or your stash is not the end goal, but a tool to provide the freedom to live your life on your own terms. This will lead to better lifestyle options and more mental bandwidth. Do your stash maths to establish how much you need to live on per year after tax when you achieve fire. Then times this number by 25. David recommends maybe opting for closer to 30 plus times your annual expenses if you live outside the US. Once you reach your stash number, you are financially independent. Where to put your stash? Consider investing in a globally diversified portfolio of super low cost index funds. Automate your investing, set it, forget it and don't peak. Review and rebalance maybe once per year. Set your plan and stay the course. Life beyond financial independence. When you get to financial independence, you can start living your vision. Resetting your life can be as hard or complicated as you want to make it. Never accept your dreams as a kid are gone forever. It is never too late to reset.